Hey everybody! Welcome to my channel and welcome back if you've been here before. Thank you for joining me. I'm pretty excited. Today I'm going to be doing a self-portrait shoot. I bought a few wigs. We're going to change hair and garment a lot and it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get started. I am going to try and do my makeup while looking into my phone screen, but just in case, I have popped the tripod that my phone is on on top of a mirror so it's literally just my phone is balancing on a mirror right now which is just down below the screen so if you see me like looking down like this then you'll know that I'm looking in the mirror but I'm going to probably like speed up the makeup anyway so that it's not boring. I have sped up the makeup to 11 times the speed that it was in real life and that's because in real life it took around half an hour to do my makeup and that would be way too long to have you guys sitting around and watching me do my own makeup that would be really boring. Um, I have spent quite a lot of time on the foundation because the flash that's on top of the camera would be able to cut through the layers of makeup and show up any flaws in my natural skin. I'm just putting on some concealer now and that's to try and hide the dark circles that I've got going on under my eyes. Those seem to have gotten a lot worse as I've gotten older and now I'm putting on some contour and that's to help define every kind of angle on my face and give more definition and shape. Um, and I'm spending a little while blending that. Now I am putting on some blush and I'm just buffing that back with some foundation and some highlighter, but that is very hard to see on the camera. Now I'm putting some brown eyeshadow through my eyebrows, but just like a medium shade of brown, so they're not too dark and dramatic for my bold head. And I'm just getting the shape right. And now I'm putting on some lip liner pencil. I tend to overdraw my lips so that they're going to look nice and full when I do put on lipstick later. That will help make them look convincingly big in photos, which is awesome. And now I'm just putting some eyeshadow on. I'm putting a darker color in the crease as to the rest of the eye and blending that right out. And then once that's all blended, I'm just popping some shiny eyeshadow on my eyelids and blending that some more. Um, I'm doing my mascara. If you see any glitches in the video in this section, it's actually because I poked myself in the eye with the mascara, so I turned off the camera at one point, but it's kind of hard to see now that it's sped up, um, but really hurt. It's actually so much easier to do someone else's mascara than your own. At least for me anyway, because I always manage to poke myself in the eyes. And now I'm just going in with some lipstick colour. I'm putting a darker colour at the base so that it's going to look convincing when I put a lighter colour over the top and also so the two colours can mix and I can have a custom colour. I'm just cleaning that up quickly. Now I'm putting my lighter colour on so that the lipstick is going to look convincingly as though I have bigger lips than I actually have in real life because I feel like that suits my face really well. Now I'm just putting on some lip gloss and I think this look is pretty much finished. This is my first makeup look. This is just how I have my camera set up. So I've got my speed light here which is going to bounce off the roof onto the wall and then obviously over here I have my receiver for my trigger and that is what's going to make the photos happen while I'm pressing the trigger. Here's a little bit of a behind the scenes video of posing while the camera's shooting. I had the remote control in the hand that's not visible, um, although sometimes I did put the remote control on timer, so when I pressed it, I have two seconds or so, so that I could get both my hands into the photo. Um, but yeah, this is just what happened like behind the scenes. Um, and I put this in because I'm just doing one edited photo of each look. Um, because there was seven different looks and here is the edited photo I'm really happy with how this turned out I think it just looks so beautiful so I just finished shooting this makeup look and I popped on a jumper because two reasons one it's cold and two I think this jumper is going to go really well with an orange wig that I have and so I'm going to use it as the garment for the next photo shoot I'm just going to change my lip color and I think that's pretty much all I'll do for the change of look. I'm just removing the previous lipstick and leaving a bit of a stain behind so that I can go over the top of that. Now I'm putting the new lipstick over the top and this color's a bit more bright and a bit more pastel. Uh, this is again at 11 times the speed of real life. And there we have it. 
See, this is my new lip colour. Um, it's a bit like poppy and bright, but also it's not too over the top. Kind of like goes well with the colour of the jumper. And I'm going to pop on the wig right now. And then I'll put lip gloss on because I don't want to get hair from the wig and the lip gloss. Okay? Alright. So, I've got my wig. Um, it's just here. Alright. Actually, there is something I just realized that I totally forgot. I'm going to make my eyebrows go orange because otherwise they're not going to match this wig. So I'm just going to take this back off. I'm just putting some orange eyeshadow through my eyebrows to try and match them to the color of the wig because I realized that they wouldn't really match if they're like a mousy brown and my hair's orange. Okay, so now I have the wig right here. Um, I'm just going to pop this back on. Hair in my eyes. <laughs> Not used to having hair again. And there we have it. I have hair. Ah, instant hair. <laughs> um, all right, I'm just gonna put some lip gloss on my lips, and then we'll be good to go back upstairs and start shooting again. So here I am as a redhead. Um, I've got lip gloss on now, and. Ah, this is exciting. <laughs> okay, so again, here's a bit of a behind the scenes video of the posing in front of the camera. Um, obviously, you guys can't see the camera, um, but you know, you get a bit of a behind the scenes look at how the photo shoot's going. Uh, I really enjoyed this look a lot. Um, plus, the fact that it was warm because the jumper made it extra enjoyable for me. And here is the finished photo. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Like, the hair looks so good. I just finished shooting this look. I'm really happy with how the photos have turned out from this one. Um, so, right now, I'm going to take off my wig. Oh, there we are, back to bold. Uh, and I will change into my new garment and then go back down to the shed and do the next makeup. I'm back down in my shed. I've changed into my next garment. And I'm just going to change my lipstick colour to match this colour on the garment. So here is my new lip colour. I actually forgot to press record on the camera. I thought it was recording the whole time and I was like, ah, oh, right, yeah, the big red button is uh, not on. So, new lip colour. Um, really happy with that. It's a little bit darker than the top, but I did that purposely because I feel like the top colour would be slightly too light for a lipstick colour for me. I'm just going to go through and remove these brows. I've put on a blonde wig and I'm just quickly putting some concealer through my eyebrows to make them match the wig properly. I made my eyebrows a bit lighter by putting concealer through them. We are back upstairs with this blonde look and we're ready to start shooting. Here is some more behind the scenes of me posing for the camera uh, while photographing myself. And I really loved this wig, except I didn't quite know how to pose with it because it was just so long and so much hair compared to what I've gotten used to now. And here's the finished photo. I'm so happy with how this turned out. I have just finished shooting this look. It was a little bit hard to know what to do with my hands because I'm not used to such enormously long hair. Like I was like, what, what, what do I do with them? I'll just kind of, yeah, I, I wasn't sure. <laughs> um, but the photos have turned out pretty nice. I am back in my shed, different top on, took the wig off, and now I'm going to be changing my lip color. Uh, I'm going to make it kind of like a nude color, and I'm going to be wearing a short blonde wig this time. Here I am just changing my lipstick color again, this time to a more natural kind of nude color. The light in my shed has gotten quite bright because the skylight obviously changes as the sun goes over my shed and at this point it was the afternoon so I'm sorry about my glary face. Okay so this is my new lip colour. I'm going to go ahead and put my wig on. So this is my wig. As you can see it's got like a, a false scalp there which is pretty cool and it's got like a bit of regrowth and ombre. It's um, quite short. Um, so let's go ahead and 
pop this on. I think we're ready to go upstairs and shoot. Yay! <laughs> so I'm now ready to shoot this look. Again, here is some more of the behind the scenes video. I feel like this wig really actually suited me a lot. It made my jawline look a lot more like defined and sort of elegant. Um, the wig was a little bit difficult to get to sit in the right position at first. But once I got it sitting in the right position, it just kind of stayed there, which was nice because then I didn't have to keep readjusting it or anything. Um, the fringe is a little long. I might maybe at some point give that a trim, but not during this video, obviously. And I'm just really happy with how this looked. And here is the finished photo. I'm so pleased with how this turned out. I'm back in my shed again. This time I've got just like a dusty pink kind of jumper hoodie thing on and I'm going to be wearing a brown wig this time so I'm going to need to remove the concealer from my eyebrows and make them darker and then change my lip color to match this a bit better. Here is me changing my lipstick color. Um, I'm just putting some concealer over and then going over with a lip liner pencil. I actually just finished doing my lip liner and was kind of like I'm just going to put lip gloss over this colour, that kind of matches, and I like that colour. I'm just going through my eyebrows with a lip gloss wand that has some micellar water on it so that I can remove the concealer, and now I am putting some dark brown eyeshadow colour through my eyebrows and shaping them to try and suit my face and keep them semi-natural looking. Um, so they'll match the wig and now I'm just combing them because my eyebrows always seem to be messy no matter what I do. Now I have some eyebrows happening. I'm just going to pop on my wig. Um, for this one I've got like a shoulder length brown curly wig. Um, well, it has curls down the bottom of it. Um, this, is, this is the wig. Alright. Now I just need to tuck the bit of lace underneath so that it's less obvious it's a wig. And Maybe I'll move the part to the side. I am up in my room ready to shoot this look. I am loving this wig. This wig's really fun. Um, a little bit longer than I expected, but I really love it. It's cool. Here is some behind the scenes video of me posing for the camera with the brown curly wig on. I really liked this wig because it looks like my mom's hair but I do feel like it's a teensy bit too dark for me. Um, I also loved shooting this look with this hooded jumper because I was able to use the hood and put it up and that was then like an extra way to pose and it made the photos more interesting and the lip liner color matched absolutely perfect to the jacket. Like I couldn't have planned that better um, and I, I'm really happy that I noticed that before going ahead and putting a lipstick color on so that I could just use just the lip liner color. Here's the finished photo. I really like this one. I think it's super cool with the hood up. This look turned out really cool. Um, it is kind of hard to adjust to having like the big eyebrows again. It's like, whew, what are those on my face? Um, it's so much easier to get used to less eyebrows than it is to get used to more. Because when I was checking the photos, I was like, whoo, they look dark. <laughs> um, but, I mean, they work with the look. Um, yeah, I I'm, I'm pretty happy with how all the photos are turning out. And, yeah, as I said, it's so hard to get used to these eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm back in my shed. It's very bright in here now because the sun is actually coming through the skylight and it's reflecting off a mirror that's over there because all the windows in my shed are on that side. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm like super reflective. I'm just going to be changing my lipstick colour and my eyeshadow colour and then popping on a dark brown wig. I'm just changing my lipstick colour to a slightly darker than natural kind of purple toned colour because I feel like it's going to really suit the new wig that I'm putting on which is dark brown and I'm also changing my eyelid colour to gold. Here's my wig. This looks pretty much like my old hair used to before I cut it a few months back. I may need to give this a slight brush when I get upstairs. I'm ready to shoot some more. I just put on a necklace. I am loving this wig. It's just so natural looking. Here is the behind the scenes video of me posing for the camera with this look. I think at this point I hadn't actually brushed the wig, but I think I did do that during the shoot at some point because the photos go from being like super messy hair to like very neat hair. Um, so when I edited, I picked one of the ones that had the neat hair, but I'm sorry there's like a lot of flyaways in this bit of video and the hair looks quite messy and un untamed. Um, but the photo looks awesome. So here's the photo. It is just a headshot. I felt like a beauty portrait looked best with this wig. I have just finished shooting this look, so... I'm going to take off my wig and do one last look. I'm in my final change for the day. I'm just going to change my lipstick colour and then pop on a wig. I'm not sure if I want to change my eyes. I'll decide once I've got the wig on. I am just blotting out the stain from the previous colour with some concealer and now I'm going in with some lip liner pencil to get a nice defined lip line. I am going to be doing a nude lipstick colour with this look. So here I am putting on the lipstick colour, and that's the colour I'm using. I'm happy with that. Here is my very last wig for the day. I do think I'm actually going to make my eyes a little bit darker, um, and then we'll go upstairs and shoot. I just made the eyeshadow colour a bit darker, so now it's a dark brown and it contrasts the nice light nude lips. This is the last look for today. I love this wig. I'm ready to shoot, we're just in my studio right now, so let's get to and start. Finally, we have just made it to the last look. So this is the behind the scenes video of me posing for the camera as with every look that I did in this shoot. I was pretty tired by this point. Hopefully you guys can't tell by the look on my face, but I feel like you probably can. But anyway, here is the last photo. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I really love this wig. I feel like it suited me really well. I just removed my makeup, so now I am back to barefaced, no wig, me again. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. Feel free to leave a comment in the comments section saying what look was your favourite. I will try and reply to all of your comments. And thank you so much for joining me today. Bye!